Defense Central attended the Dubai Air Show 2023, recognized as the largest aerospace and defense event in the Middle East, drawing exhibitors and attendees from across the globe. Boasting a lineup of over 1,400 exhibitors, the Dubai Air Show 2023 showcased a spectacular array of 180 commercial and military aircraft in both flying and static displays, along with helicopters, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, drones, and more. If you haven't already, explore our previous videos from the Dubai Air Show 2023 live coverage for insights into military aircraft, developments, and highlights from the Advanced Aerial Mobility and Space Pavilions. In today's video, we'll share additional news and updates from the airshow. Let's dive right in. One of the largest stands at this year's edition of the Dubai Airshow was presented by the UAE defense conglomerate, Edge Group. The company unveiled 11 new military systems spanning various domains, with a particular emphasis on advancing air capabilities. Among these unveilings is the ReachM, a medium-altitude low-endurance drone featuring a 350kg payload capacity and a 24-hour flight endurance, as reported by the company. Currently in the development stage, the UAV is designed for ISR and light ground attack operations and is anticipated to undergo final testing by 2024. Additionally, Edge showcased the operational HT-100 multi-role unmanned helicopter and the Senior, an autonomous aircraft based on the Flaris LAR-01 single-engine jet. The HT-100 UAV is already in service, while the senior jet-powered aircraft is projected to enter the market by 2026. The company also unveiled several new missiles at the Dubai Airshow 2023. The NASA-20 is a low-cost cruise missile for precision engagement launched from unmanned aircraft, while the NASA-125 is a subsonic cruise and anti-ship missile with active homing radar seeker, featuring advanced sea-skimming capabilities. The Rash 3H is a high-precision guided munition for small to medium-sized threats. Low-cost missiles are becoming increasingly relevant due to the rise of inexpensive but effective drones, as evident in the conflict in Ukraine. As a result, the pan-European missile company MBDA unveiled their new low-cost fire-and-forget anti-drone air-to-air missile at this year's edition of the Dubai Airshow. Called the Anti-Loitering and Drone Interceptor, or Aladdin, this missile will be deployed on fast jets and light attack turboprops. It weighs up to 20 kilograms and targets drones and loitering munitions at a fraction of the cost of traditional dogfight missiles. As highlighted in our previous videos, this year's airshow was a hotspot for global competition. The UAE managing relationships with both the US and BRICS nations and having received an offer to join the BRICS alliance in August naturally drew attention. This was evident in the strong presence of Chinese, Russian, and Brazilian companies at the airshow. Shifting our focus to Brazil after exploring Russian and Chinese platforms, the key representative from Brazil at the airshow was Embraer. They unveiled the eye-catching Tech Eagle livery for the E195E2 commercial jet. This new livery symbolized high-tech characteristics, impressive performance, efficiency, and low noise. Also on display were the Embraer Praetor 600, recognized as the top-tier executive jet in its category, alongside the C-390 Millennium Military Tactical Transport Aircraft, as well as the A-29 Super Tucano, a versatile aircraft designed for training, aerial interception, and surveillance. It is interesting to mention that despite a slow start in the international market, the C-390 program has recently picked up momentum. Since June 2022, the Millennium has been selected by the Netherlands, Austria, and the Czech Republic, joining earlier orders from Hungary and Portugal. The C390 Millennium and Lockheed Martin C130J are now also the finalists for South Korea's new light transport aircraft. So, how did you enjoy our live coverage from the Dubai Airshow 2023? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we will be posting more videos featuring platforms and solutions showcased at the airshow here in Dubai.